Hi, everybody. Welcome to Lafayette, Indiana, and the Hawkeyes on the road this week to take on the Purdue Boilermakers. You see that strong, strong wind going from right to left. Iowa wins the coin toss. They elect to defer to the second half, and Purdue then takes the football. So Brian Hurley kicks off with the wind at his back, goes through the end zone for the touchback, and we're underway, Purdue. First and 10, Rodgers up the middle. He gets nothing. George Bennett, the first man on the stop. Second and 10, Rodgers tries the left side. He has five before Parker Weldeman comes up with the tackle. Make it third and five for the Boilermakers. Fetzker passes to Alsot. It is incomplete. Bill Ennis Ng there with the defensive play. And so the Boilermakers have to punt the football into the wind. Look at that wind kill the punt. It's only a 22 yard punt. Fair caught by Harold Jasper, and the Hawkeyes have good field position. First and 10 from the 47. Cedric Shaw tries the left side. He's in trouble. Brush and Gray stop him for a loss of one. Make it second and 11. Kent call, and what a season this guy's having. Big fullback goes for 13, down to Purdue 35. First and 10 from that point. Kent call left side. He gets three for Crick. Knocks him down. Second and seven. Mike Dupre, the quarterback, great fake, but now he's in trouble, holds on to the football, going to be knocked down for a loss of 10. Make it third and 17. Dupre wants to throw. Screen is set up, but his pass is too tall for Kent Call and incomplete, so the Hawkeyes. Nick Gallery has to punt the football. Too much wind, too much foot to skyrocket through the end zone. And with 10.54 left to go, the Boilermakers, first and 10. Outside gets the call, tries the left side, a little bit of a hole. Marquise Porter and Chris Webb on the stop after a gain of six. Second and four. Fetzker wants to pass, now decides to run. Picks up seven, out to the 33. First and 10 from that point. Rodgers gets the call. Pretty good hole up the middle, gains five. Parker on the stop. Second and five, all set. Draw play, jumps out over the right side and has good yardage. As a matter of fact, he picked up 10. Make it first and 10, Boilermakers at their own 48. Rodgers, left side, and second effort gets him six. Make it second and four. Rodgers gets the draw play. He only gets two yards, however. John Hartleib and Parker Weldeman on the tackle. Make it third and two. Boilermakers over the right side. Find a hole. Jumps for 15. Does Al Sott before Atkins and Hartley put the stops on him. First and 10 at the Iowa 29. Also tries the middle, but there is Iowa. George Bennett leads the charge. He gains nothing. Second and 10 from the 29. Also draw play again. He breaks inside the 20, close to the 15. He gains 13 before Bobby Diaco makes the stop. First and 10 from the 16. Rodgers tries to go left, but great defense. Ennis Ng and Bobby Diaco on the stop. Second and 11. Also tries the middle, but once again, Bobby Diaco is there. Third and nine. Boilermakers want to throw intended for Thornton in the end zone. It is incomplete, and Purdue will have to try the field goal. Bobich from 32 yards out puts it up. It is good. That was a 13-play drive. It went 65 yards, took six minutes and 17 seconds off the clock as the Boilermakers go up three to nothing. On the kickoff, Tavian Banks brings it up the right side, return of 13. 4.37 left to go in the first quarter. Mike Dupre sweep all the way over the 30, up over the 35 as he gains nine, make it second and one. Dupree again wants to throw, rolls right. Now throws back over the middle. It is complete to Harold Jasper. Good for 14 yards. First and 10 ball at the Iowa 49-yard line. And in motion. Call starts right on the sweep, cuts back in the middle and gains two. Down to the Purdue 49-yard line. Make it second and eight. Cedric Shaw gets the call, but somebody misses a block. He loses a yard. Iowa takes a timeout. When they come back, it's third and nine. Dupree for Cedric Shaw. And oh my, Cedric thought he should have had the football. Incomplete, fourth and nine. 
Nick Gallery has to come on and punt again. This time takes a little bit out of it, and look at this punt. Goes out of bounds. Let's see. Three, four. Mark it at the five-yard line. 157 left to go in the first quarter. Purdue first and 10. Rodgers tries the right side. All kinds of blocking. Pat Boone, Jason Henlon on the stop after a gain of seven. Second and three. Also tries the middle. He gains two. Jason Henlon again, the first man there to stop him for the Hawkeyes. Third and one. Also gets the call. Second effort gets him three yards and a first down. First and 10 Boilermakers at the 17. Rodgers tries the left side, but it's tough going. Bobby Diaco, the first man there. As the first quarter comes to an end, Purdue three to nothing over Iowa. First play of the second quarter. Dickens wants to throw. Now he decides to run, and he's going to pick up 10 out near the 30-yard line. First and 10 for the Boilermakers. Rodgers gets the handoff, starts left, finds all kinds of traffic. He gains two. Chris Webb there on the stop. Make it second and eight. High formation for the Boilermakers. Alsett gets the ball, tries the right side. Chris Webb, John Hartley on the stop. Make it third and six. Dickens wants to throw. Now decides to run. Now he's going to be knocked down. Sacked there by Chris Webb. Make it fourth and seven. Purdue with the wind at their back. Has to punt. And look at this punt. This is a thunderfoot. 67-yard punt out of the end zone. So the Hawkeyes, 12.46 left to go in the first half. Come up with the football at the 20. Cedric Shaw gets the handoff. Good effort. And he picks up six. They get second and four ball at the 26-yard uh, line. Kent Call on the draw play. Nice hole. He picks up another six and a first down after the Iowa 32. First and 10, ball at that point. Mike Dupree wants to throw. Now he decides to scramble. 5 10, picks up 15 all the way close to midfield before he's knocked down. First and 10, ball spotted at the Hawkeye 47. High formation behind Dupree. Kent called the first man through, gets the call. He gets three yards. Make it second and seven. Ball right at midfield. Dupree. Gets away from the rush, now decides to throw, intended for Anthony Dean, but incomplete. Make it third and seven. Dupree, draw play to call. Has a little room, jumps up over midfield, but he only gains three, so the Hawkeyes will have to punt the football away. Nick Gallery on, punting into that win. It goes straight up. Only good for 22 yards, going to be marked at the 25. First and 10, Dickinick quarterback decides to throw. Fakes, throws, it is complete. The Blackman all alone, and he goes for another first. First and 10, ball up to 47. High formation behind Dickin. Ball given off to Rodgers. He's at midfield. Breaks a couple of tackles and gains eight. Make it second and two for the Boilermakers. Alsett gets the handoff, and he's going to be met. Knocked down for a loss of one. After Iowa was penalized six yards for offsides, first and ten, Alsett goes up the middle for five yards. First and ten, ball just outside the 30-yard line, handoff straight up the middle. Tremendous effort there. Rodgers picks up another six from the 27-yard line. Also tries the misdirection up the middle. He picks up two. George Bennett on the stop. Make it second and eight. Ball handed to Rodgers. He loses one. Back to the 26. Bobby Diaco, Pat Boone on the stop. Now the pass play on third and nine. Dickens hits Alford for 13 all the way down to the 13-yard line. First and 10 from that point. Also gets the handoff. He burst up the middle down near the five-yard line. He goes for eight. Make it second and two from the five. Also up the middle. Oh, so close. Going to be knocked down after a gain of three. Spotted at the two. First and two. Rodgers right side. Touchdown. Purdue's drive was another long one. 11 plays. 
75 yards, 5.30 off the clock, 4.35 left to go in the half, and Purdue is on top, 10 to nothing. Kickoff goes through the end zone with that strong wind at their back, and so the Hawkeyes take over first and 10. Tavian Banks in the backfield. He sweeps right, jumps out over the 20, gains three. Make it second and seven. High formation behind Dupree. Banks again gets the call on the draw. He only gets one yard. Crick knocks him down. Make it third and six. Dupree options left. Keeps, hit, ball is loose, scramble for it, and let's see. Purdue says they have it. The officials agree. 3-11 left to go in the first half. Iowa trying to hold Purdue back from the 29. Dickin wants to throw, now finds Thornton, and it's good for 11. First and 10 from the 18. Also, draw play up the middle. Knocked down by Bobby Diaco after a gain of one. Make it second and nine. Rodgers sweeps right, finds a hole. Now the ball comes free. Scramble for it. The Hawkeyes say they have it. The officials concur. 2.15 left to go in the first half. First and 10 Hawkeyes at their own 13. Ryan Terry gets the call. Tries the left side. He gains three. Gray and Hall on the stop. Second and seven from the 16. Dupree rolls right, wants to throw Anthony Dean. Nice move. He gains nine and gets the first down. First and 10, ball at the 25. Dupree straight drop. Good protection, now he decides to run. He is up over the 30. There's a flag flying. Iowa is penalized for clipping. So make it first and 20, back at 15. Dupree, straight drop, throws for Scott Slutsker. It is broken up. Almost intercepted. Second and 20 ball at 15. Dupree, straight drop, nice protection. Now he throws, ball is intended for Anthony Dean and overthrown. They get third and 20, ball still resting at the 15. Dupree wants to throw, scrambles around. Now throws for the sideline intended for Price who breaks it up to save the interception. And the Hawkeyes will have to punt fourth and 20. Nick Gallery into that win. Line drive kick, dangerous, can be returned. Allen down the left sideline, up near the 40. 37 seconds left in the first half. Iowa trying to hang on. Alsett in the backfield, gets the handoff. Jumps over the left side, breaks the tackle. Inside the 35, he gains eight. The Boilermakers take a timeout. Second and two now, Dickin. Wants to throw, fires it down the left sideline. It is complete to Samuel. 16 seconds left to go before halftime. Dickin wants to throw. Intended for Thornton in the end zone, overthrown. Make it second and 10, ball at the 18. Dickin decides to run. Time is running out on the clock. He jumps inside the 10, calls timeout, but Purdue is penalized, holding. So they have one shot at it. Ball is going to be spotted down at the 34. Make it a 44-yard field goal attempt. Snap is back. Kick is up. Kick is no good. So at the half, it is Purdue 10, Iowa nothing. to second half action the Hawkeyes will receive Purdue has that strong wind at their backs from right to left Iowa with the football first and 10 from their own 20 Cedric Shaw gets the call 25 now breaks a tackle up over the 30 the ball is free and Purdue comes up with it 1452 left to go in the third quarter. First and 10 from the 35. All set. Gets the call, tries the left side, maintains his balance, and goes for six. He wants on the field to help him anyway. Make it second and four from the 29. Rogers tries the left side. He also breaks a tackle and goes for six more. 
John LaFleur with the tackle. First and 10 at the Iowa 23. Ball up the middle to Rodgers. He is knocked down by Damian Robinson for a loss of one. Second and 11. Draw play to Alsa, but he's in all kinds of trouble. He only gains three. John Hartley first there on the stop. After Purdue misses a field goal try, Iowa takes over at the 21. Call up the middle for seven. Out to the Iowa 28. Make it second and three. Ball given again straight up the middle to Kent Call. He goes for eight more to the 38. First and 10. Cedric Shaw gets the ball. He heads left. 35. 40. Up close to the 45 yard line. He gains another eight yards. Make it second and two. Kent Call gets the handoff. Second effort pushes him over the midfield strike. First and 10, ball at the Hawkeyes, 47 yard line. Ball given away to Cedric Shaw in the misdirection. He burst over the 45, up near the 40. Make it second and five, ball at the 42. Dupree intended for Jasper, incomplete. Make it third and five. Call. Gets the carry, but he is upended. Only gains one. Fourth and four now. The Hawkeyes going for it at the 41. Slutsker in motion. Dupree tucks it. He's going to run. He's going to be tripped up two yards short of the first down. 8-14 left to go third quarter. Purdue takes over first and 10 at their own 40. Dickens still at quarterback, rolls right. Throws intended for Thornton and broken up by Atkins on a nice play. Make it second and 10 from the 40. Split backs behind Dickens. Plenty of time, throws. This time he finds Thornton and Thornton is good for 13 yards down to the Iowa 47. First and 10, I formation, nice fake. Dickens throws right side. The ball is up in the air and incomplete intended for Blackman. Damian Robinson on the defense. Second and 10. Alsett gets the draw. Breaks outside, 45, 40, over the 35 and down to the 33-yard line. After an illegal procedure, Purdue faces first and 15. Dickens wants to throw, looks for Thornton. He's there and down inside the 20, good for 19 yards. First and 10, ball at the Iowa 18. High formation. Also gets the carry. He only gains a yard. Parker Waldeman on the tackle. Second and nine. Dickens scrambling. Breaks free. Makes a move inside the 20, the 15, inside the 10. And he is run out of bounds inside the 10. First and seven, or first and goal at the seven, we should say. Rodgers is knocked down by Abraham and Webb. Make it second and goal again from the seven. Also gets the carry. He is inside the five. Down to the Iowa three. Henlon and Porter on the stop. Third and three. Dickens wants to throw for it. Intended for Thornton, who was wide open. It's incomplete. So Purdue again to try a field goal attempt. It is up. It is good. Purdue goes uh, 11 plays in 57 yards, 3.55 off the clock, and it's now Purdue 13 and Iowa nothing. The kickoff is going to be returned by Willie Banks. He's out over the 20 up to the 24. 4.19 left in the third quarter. First and 10 Hawkeyes from the 24. Cedric Shaw gets the handoff, looks for a block. Now cuts back inside. He gains three. Crick and McGrew on the tackle. After Purdue was penalized for offsides. Second and two. Demo Odoms on the reverse. Eludes a tackle. Continues to roll down the right sideline across the 30 to 35. All is said and done. He gained four. First and ten, however, at the 36. Call. Over the right side, but he's going to be caught from behind by Gray. On the next play, Dupre, twin backs behind him, gives away up the middle to Kent Call. He goes for short yardage, but Purdue is penalized for offsides. Make it second and five. 
Kent Call again gets the call, and he goes for four to the Iowa 45. Third and one, third straight carry for Kent Call. He breaks free. He busts for 15 yards and a first down. First and 10 Hawkeyes at the 40. Call left, minus one, Crick on the tackle. Make it second and 11. Last play of the third quarter. Shaw to the left side. Nice spin move inside the 40. There he slammed down after he gains three. First play of the fourth quarter. Matt Sherman now at quarterback for the Hawkeyes. He throws, and the ball is complete. Down to the Purdue 15-yard line to Willie Guy. First and 10, ball at the Boilermakers, 15. Matt Sherman hands off to Cedric Shaw. He starts left, jumps inside the 10 for six yards. After the Hawkeyes take a timeout, second and four from the nine. Call past the five, down close to the two-yard line. First and goal from the one. Call tries the middle. Looks like he was in, but they say he is down. My goodness, he fell in the end zone. Make it second and one. High formation call gets it, and this time he gets the score. Iowa goes 76 yards in 12 plays. They took six minutes and 38 seconds off the clock, and they cut the lead with the extra point to Purdue, 13. Iowa 7, 12-41 left to go in the ball game. Iowa having that strong wind at their back. Brian Hurley kicks off, and Taylor's going to bring it out. 10, 15, 20. Up to the 25 and knocked down at about the 26. First and 10 for the Boilermakers. Dickens wants to throw. Great protection. Fires over the middle. Allen has it. Good for 18 yards. Ball at the 44. Dickens decides to run. Now he's in trouble. He is going to lose six. There's a fumble, and Iowa has the football. Bobby Diaco with the recovery. 11.59 left to go in the ball game. Draw play, Tavian Banks, Purdue in the blitz. 30, 20, 15, 10, makes a move, five, touchdown. Tavian Banks, 38 yards, touchdown. Hayden Fry calls this fellow magic because good things seem to happen. One play, 38 yards, took nine seconds. And with the extra point, the Hawkeyes are all the way back. Iowa 14, Purdue 13, 11.50 left to go in the ball game. Again, Brian Hurley kicks off, wind at his back, and again, Taylor is going to bring it out. 15-20, out across the 25 at the 26. From there, it's first and 10 Boilermakers. Dickens still at quarterback, eye formation behind him. Plenty of time, wants to throw. Alsett down the far sideline, incomplete. Second and 10. Dickens, again, good protection, throws. Intended for Thornton, incomplete. Marquise Porter on the defensive stop. Third and 10. Shotgun formation. Dickens makes a tremendous move. Now he's going to throw all the way across the field. Intended for Rodgers, incomplete. That brings up fourth down, and the Boilermakers will have to punt into that strong win. Punt is away, and it's out of bounds at about the 35, but hold on, flags are down. Illegal formation by the Boilermakers, so they have to kick again. And let's see. This time the punt's a low one, and the Hawkeyes are going to get the ball at midfield. 11-13 left to go in the ball game. Draw play to Tavian Banks. He tries the middle. It's tough. He gets three. Make it second and seven from the 47. Terry on the draw, midfield. He's at the 45, makes a move right. At the 40, 35, 30, down the sidelines, gonna be knocked out, down close to the 20-yard line. Make it first and 10, ball spotted at the 22. Terry on the pitch, he's at the 20. The 15 jumps down close to the 10. Good for nine yards on the play. Second and one from the 13. Terry tries the right side. He gains two down to the Purdue 11. Make it first and 10 from that point. Matt Sherman fumbles the football. It is loose. Golly, Purdue recovers. 9.56 left to go in the ball game. 
Alsa tries the middle. It is tough going. Hartley even bent it on the stop after two. Second and eight ball at the 12. Dickens wants to throw. Passes intended for Samuel and incomplete. They get third and eight. Ball at the 12. Shotgun formation from the Boilermakers. Dickens looks. Now he's in trouble. He is knocked down for a loss of two by Chris Webb and his defensive mates. Fourth and ten. Purdue still punting into a strong win. Certainly has been an ally for the Hawkeyes. This is Harold Jasper, and he brings it back three yards. 8.32 left to go in the game. Hawkeyes set up shot. Sherman, draw play to Cedric Shaw. He's at the 40, 35, 30. Breaks free. He may go all the way. He is in for the touchdown. One play, 39 yards, took 10 seconds with the extra point. It is Iowa 21, Purdue 13. Once again, with the strong wind at his back, Brian Hurley boots it away and through the end zone. So Purdue takes over first and 10 at their own 20. Dickens, still at quarterback. Fakes. Now wants to throw. Favorite target is Thornton. He has it good. Picks up 13 on the play. They get first and 10 from the 33. Dickin again fakes. Now swings it out in the flat. Intended for Rodgers and incomplete. Second and 10. Dickin straight back. Screen pass. It's to Olsen. He's at the 30. 35-40. Long way midfield, 40, and going to be knocked down up around the 35-yard line. Dickin one more time. Rolls right, looks, flips it out. There is Thornton. He is knocked out of bounds close to the 25. Dickin gives the ball straight away to Rodgers. He dies for a tough couple of yards. From the 24, ball is handed off to Rodgers. He's going to be knocked down for a loss of four by Chris Webb. They get second and 14. Dickin, fake, now scrambles, now gets rid of it, intended for offered and incomplete. They get third and 14. Dickin, looks, throws in the corner of the end zone for offered. He makes a catch. How is that ball complete and a touchdown? Purdue drove 80 yards in eight plays. They go for two now. Dickin is going to run for it. He is hit. Oh, my. They say it's good. As you'll see in the post-game press conference, Hayden Fry not real happy. 6-12 left to go in the ball game. Purdue has tied it 21-21. Willie Banks, 20-25. Up near the 30, and the Hawkeyes take over with 6-12 left to go in the ball game. Matt Sherman, a quarterback, gives the ball straight to Kent Call, 40, 45, and he's up near midfield. First and 10, ball at the 49. High formation, first man is Kent Call. He's at the 50. He is inside the 45-yard line. They get second and three. Cedric Shaw gets the call. He's tripped up after a gain of one. They get third and two from the Purdue 43. Kent Call is stacked up at the line of scrimmage. He gains one. So make it fourth and one. Iowa decides to go for it. Kent Call gets the ball, and he is stacked up. They say he gained nothing. 338 left to go in the ball game. Purdue takes over at their own 42. Dickens gives to Rodgers, tries the right side, and he's going to gain eight before Pat Boone knocks him down. Second and two. High formation. Dickens to outside, up the middle. He's at the 40. 35 inside the 30. After Purdue was penalized five yards for illegal procedure, first and 14 from the 35. Rodgers tries the right side. Breaks free and gains six. Second and eight from the 29. Dickens 
Rolls left, pulls up, finds Thornton on the far sidelines. He gets out of bounds. They get first and 10, ball at the Iowa 20. Also breaks the 20, breaks the 15, down to about the 14. Make it second and four from the 14. Dickin again tries also. He tries the middle, gets one yard. John Hartley on the stop. Boilermakers take a timeout, 11 seconds left. Bobich comes in for the field goal try. It is up. It is no good. Final play of the game, seven seconds left. Matt Sherman drops back. Let's it fly near sideline for Anthony Dean. It is caught out of bounds, and the Hawkeyes settle for a bitter 21-21 tie. Imagine that one of the more interesting and uh, entertaining, suspenseful football games in the Big Ten this season. I uh, am extremely proud of our football team, the way they battled back the second half and moved the ball with consistency, shut down Purdue, and uh, have it end up in a tie is just uh, extremely unfortunate. Uh, Purdue did what they had to do, evidently, there to last. I'm certainly anxious to see the two-point play and the touchdown pass on film. But uh, both teams gave great effort. Uh, Dupree got hurt. Uh, he may have a detached retina of the right eye. And uh, Matt Sherman came in for the first time and did a super job of rallying the team, moving the, the team down the field. Call and... Uh, Shaw and uh, Banks all did a wonderful job running. Got some nice holes to run in. And, uh, you know, the defense from time to time certainly did a real good job of, uh, I think they made, I think the young man probably missed three, if not four field goals. And of course we had to stop them before he missed the field goal. So it was a credit to our offense, particularly with Purdue's big offensive uh, football team. We couldn't fire a shot the first half. Uh, couldn't get the ball away from them. They had the ball probably 18, 19, maybe 20 minutes the first half. We had it nine or eight. And uh, just couldn't get anything going. But the second half was, uh, was a thing of beauty. And I'm, I'm extremely proud of our football team. I think we were 10 and a half or 11 point underdogs at homecoming. And all this stuff about it being Purdue's the biggest game of the year, or Coach Coletto's career and all that, uh, that perhaps was true. But uh, I know they didn't win, and we didn't win. Uh, if we're fortunate enough to win the last two ball games, we can still get away from having a losing season. We'd be five, five, and one, and that's still very important to our seniors. Any of you uh, have any questions? Can you talk a little bit about the change in quarterbacks? I mean, there was hardly a difference in the passing game, but there was a huge difference in the way the offense uh, No, I, I, you know, I can't put my finger on that. Did you go through your thought process to find the Tony uh, making a first and ten again? What's that? Oh, that was the officials. Well, I can't say anything about the officials. Same group of officials that officiated our Michigan game. I'll put it that way. They're not supposed to let the young man make a mistake out there. They're supposed to present it to him where he knows what's going on. Yeah, they were blitzing a lot, and that's the best plays you can run if you anticipate a blitz. Can you talk about the touchdown pass, the third touchdown pass at the end of Atkins? What did it look like? <laughs> Some contact. It was <laughs> if you watched the, if you watched it real close, uh, once again, uh, they it was a touchdown, and uh, that's why they called it. Uh, to, uh, you need to take a look at it. Because your thoughts on uh, all stuff as a ball carrier. 
Just like we anticipated, big, strong guy, runs extremely well. Hard to bring down. What about the two-point conversion? Is that following boarding house reaches? Does it down? Or? Well, you see, uh, I can't comment because we have a gag rule in the Big Ten. You just have to look at you just have to look at the play to see where his knees goes down and if the if the knees go down before the reach for the ball to the goal line. I'm not saying that he did. I say you have to look and see. Doesn't make any difference. They got the two points. 